Let's go, let's go, let's go back a step. Let's do some resentment. Alright? Let's resent things together as a family. Okay? We have managed to grasp a thread of connective worship that stretched across vast gulfs of time. But I do hope everybody is having a very, very good Saturday. I played Minecraft for like nine hours yesterday. Um into the light. I'm that game fucking gets me hooked every time I play it. Every time I play, I'm like always hesitant to play it because I'm like, eh, I'm probably not going to enjoy it that much. Seven hours later, I'm like, huh, what have I been doing my life? And all I've done is like made like two like things in my house. And it's like, what the fuck happened for the last? Is balls deep in it, right? Yeah, we're she's she's also been hard into it. If you would like to join us, you can join Shelby's Discord and, you know, eventually we'll get everybody in there but it's uh yeah it's fucking it's gotten us we're hooked we're hooked all right let's see we're, i want to not run a highwayman today even even evie's lightning reflex side we've been running the highwayman way too often though of course very very good for uh this particular fight um for going up against the the dude but we can go for the hellion for the back row hits there emptiness. um shame. there is both emptiness and shame that's a that's a lot of emptiness and shame it's a lot um to know the abyss, one must embrace it one must embrace it a murderous melody lingers long after the final chord has been struck Alright, Dancer's Balance, Sluice Tactician, Last Gas, Tomb Hummer, Sprain Ankles, fine, Sluice Scroungers, whatever. And this is, this is good. Braggart's not great. <laughs> um, oh well. Alright. All right, Patea, I got you. When you are ready, this rutted roadway will finally take there you, go. you home. Uh, okay. The birthday boy. We have, we've got 73 candles, which is good. Because um, maybe we'll start doing memories. Right? I mean, that's like really the last thing left. Like, I'm not really, I really don't want to spend money on. Uh, so we've got the city fully upgraded. The working fields fully upgraded. Timeless woods will now be fully upgraded. Um, which is cool. There it is. Look at that. Look at that building. It's very, it's very big. Very big building. Um, but yeah, like, if you didn't realize this, each of these areas corresponds to one of the regions. This is the General's Keep from the, the Tangle, thus the Timeless Wood. This is the city and the Sprawl, the Living City. This is the uh, the Harvest House from the Working Feet, like, from the, the Fodor. Um, and then this is, uh, the Intrepid Coast is the Shroud. So they're, they each re uh, reflect one of the regions. Just a fun little fact. Anybody was interested? All right, let's take a look at the memories, huh? They should, they'll only cost us two now, which is pretty good. So we can kind of just do this more and not feel as bad about it. Because um, at the most, it'll cost us, what, 10 candles every time? All right, so we've got debuff resist. We've got um, more health when we use eating items. We've got stress resist. We've got movement resist. And we've got Blight Resist. So I say for Boudica, we should go with the Move Resist. We don't want her getting pushed out of that position. God damn, you know what I didn't do? I didn't give any of them a path. Shit. <laughs> All right, or let me change uh, the, Steam, the stream information. Uh, uh... <laughs> No path run. Let's make this a thing. <laughs> no paths run. We then people click on it, be like, "Oh my god, you're intended. You intended to do this." I'm like, yeah, 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 sure. Whatever you say. Um. 
Sure, I'll give him the debuff resist. We'll give him the stress resist, I think. No, we'll give him the health. And we'll give her the blight resist. Alright. And for the intrepid coast we'll just put in as many candles as we can oh you messed up yo time. naz thank you very much for that prime sub i appreciate it oh god here come the cats just in time for the sub guten thank you for unleashing the cats i suppose it's very kind of you to do um all right cool we've got we're prestiged we're prestiging guys Thanks for the head pats. Appreciate it. I like how the cats are under the uh, under the goal. Hey guys, we're almost to that goal of getting me to play Dark Souls blind. There it is. Yeah. Woo! Thanks. Hope you all enjoyed. All right, let's get some food. God, I can't believe we did this about paths. Ugh. All right. Well, if uh, if we make it, if this works and we get a good run out of this, it'll be it'll be a good uh, it'll be a good video. And people will be like, "Oh my God, he did it about paths. That's incredible." Which means we're not gonna do an infernal run. I'm not gonna hurt myself like that. Uh, we will take the roast pig off the start. Iron Brazer is also pretty good for the reduced torch light. I think we're going to do that and the storage trunk. It's a lot of money spent, but we've already got the food that we need, so not a big deal. Um, we can also get an anchoring charm, which might be a good start, especially if we decide that we want to take on like a Leviathan or something. I think this would be pretty good. All right. Well, that potato ain't going to get sent anywhere. All right, so she's now got 60% move resist. Whoo! Passed it. All right. Yes, passed the potato. Good job, Slim. You survive another day. I'd rather eat the potato, to be honest. I mean, yeah, but it's got a bomb inside of it. It's not, I mean, it's it's quite literally got a bomb. Okay, I haven't, like, changed any of my abilities either. I'm really just not starting this run off right, am I? I'm, like, asking for this to be a bad run. Bomb potato sounds tasty. It is the bomb. The, mo the memory of the movie The Mask? I haven't thought about that movie in a long time. It was a good movie. Yell! That winded her. That did absolutely nothing but make her weaker. I used to love that movie growing up. It's a good movie. Okay. Well, we survived that fight, which we definitely should have. 
But I need to, I need to, I need to mess with my, my items a bit. God, I would love that the spring tension in this just was a little less, huh? Oh no, that's made it worse. Okay. Thank you. Dad joke number 69. That's my favorite dad joke. All right, let's mess. Let's let's switch our abilities up, huh? Let's actually play the game properly. All right, uh, we're doing Iron Swan. We're not doing Yarp. We're not doing If It Bleeds. We'll do. We do have a. We have multiple healers on this team. Guten, thanks for blowing me up in the shower. Yep, yeah, that's what you get for showering. That's what you get. Howling and. Um. I mean, Adrenaline Rush is better. We want to upgrade toe-to-toe -to -toe pretty quickly as well. Uh, from here, we're going to be doing... Burning Stars. We don't want it moving forward. One, two, three, four, five. Sure. Yeah, I already, I already got you. It's named Birthday Boy for a reason. Um, that sentence can be read in many, many ways. It can be, and it should be. Uh, all right, battle ballad. Uh, I think, uh, well, I don't think we need encore. Echoing March could be useful here. And uh, maybe battle, yeah, maybe battle ballad. We go for the strength. Uh, here, let's go with blinding gas. Thought that was Lovecrafty and gibberish. Nope, it is not. Tis not. This is like a kind of working on a strength. I still can't believe we didn't take any paths. Classic BB. We'll see how that does for us. I mean, we'll get through, like, the first couple regions pretty easy, probably. I mean, it, they're just no pass doesn't make them bad, you know. Um, yeah, YouTube's doing pretty good, man. We're, we're at, like, 431 subs. Uh, we're so close to the... So you need 4,000 hours watched and 500 and 1,000 subs in order to apply for YouTube partner. I didn't think the subs would be the thing that would I'd be waiting on. I thought it'd be the watch hours. Uh, the watch hours were at like 3,400 in, in the last like four months, which is crazy. Um, the, su the subs are hard, man. It's hard to get people to subscribe. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, subscribe. I, I'm not gonna ask you if you could, just do it. You're watching the video already, just just click, just click the button. Just click it. Just click the button. If you're feeling extra juicy, notification bell too. But I, you know, I'm not gonna go that far. Yeah, I've never played any of the Dark Souls games, so I thought that'd be kind of a fun. Like, if we can get, if we can make that goal, it'd be pretty fun to uh, to have that and be like, hey, like I played this for the first time ever. Uh, I don't really need the stitching kit. That's just taking up space. Let's get the items on on the Wainwright. We're not doing an Infernal run. If I'm going to do no mass or no pass, we're not going to do Infernal. I'm going to upgrade toe to toe for the winded value. And then probably inspiring tune. Battlefield medicine will cover the heal for the first region. Uh, I don't think there's anything we can afford at the provisioner. So, And then... Well, um, what are we what are we better suited to dealing with? I think the tangle is going to be easier for us, so we need to kind of be uh, conscientious about that. Visit to Oblivion's ingresses. I don't really care about doing that. More cultist. There's a lot more cultist encounters here, though, but there's less hospitals here. I don't have to go splunking though. I mean, 100% cultist, 200% cultist encounters is rough. I think we go this way. I got, I got to do, I got to be conscious about the fact that, uh, I mean, 200% cultist fight is, a, that's a lot of fucking cultists, man. 
It's a lot of cultists. It's like at least six cultists. The rancid crop grows unchecked and abhorrent. All right. Okay. Well, we're not going to clear out the lair. I don't have a great team for it. We're very early on. We don't have paths. So we got we to gotta make this work on just the merit of the team alone. It's totally doable. You can beat the game without paths. It's not, not impossible by any stretch of the imagination. Um, we take the fight. It's just you get so used to paths that um, when you don't have them, it's kind of like, oh, shit, what do I do? Which is, a, which is a bad feeling to have. Like, I shouldn't be feeling that way, right? Uh, we're going to start with Chaotic Offering. We have a big guy here. I want to be able to get the, the meatballs going pretty quick. Ooh. Crit off the bat. Not, not a particularly good start there, for sure. Let's go ahead and blind the goat. And then... Let's just blind the big guy, if we can. Okay. Uh, we can Howling End here. That'll guarantee a kill. Well, not guarantee. Well, actually, it will guarantee a kill. Will it? Needs nine dead. There's a chance that we don't. This won't. Let's just go ahead and we'll just get the kill here. Remove the damage. Always a good start. Unfortunately, that didn't miss. Ow, come on. And we start off with Sepsis. Oof. All right. Not a uh, not a particularly good start there. A simple variable, easily resolved. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll toe to toe. That should at least taunt the damage into her. He's gonna go ahead and oh no, man, oh, oh come on, double sepsis on the first round of fighting. PD needs to be swan, please. All right. Yikes, dude. Jesus Christ. Okay, please give me a stress heal with that crit. Okay. We're the team. You guys are the team. Right, get some heals going. Now, sepsis is only uh, is only a 15% chance. It's not the biggest thing. Um, we don't have any hospitals in this area, so we have to keep that in mind. We, we won't be able to heal off the sepsis unless we get the Plague Doctor's item. There we go. Ugh, rough start, man. Mastery point off the bat is pretty good, though. We'll take the Sharpness Charm. That's good. All about leveraging what we have to get this build going. Um, who's our quickest character? Jester. We'll give him the Smoke Bombs. We'll take the Death Cap Spores for now. And that additional damage for lowered speed. And minus three speed is pretty rough. But that damage is nice, and we don't need the Hellion to go first, so... God damn, double disease right off the bat is is a real shit time. We're gonna go to the lair, we're not gonna- we're obviously not gonna fight the baby, but we need to- we need to worry about our stress early, if we can. If I try to yacht based Hellion, um... I've tried it, I know it has value when it's upgraded for the double stun, which is very powerful, like anything that can double stun is- is a good is a good piece of value, but I haven't really given it as much a try as I probably should have. All right, go ahead and fade the black here. So we get the, that going. I'm just gonna remove her cause she can deal a lot of stress. We've already got two diseases, so uh, we can probably just blight this guy. Nope, okay. Come on game. It's, it's too early for me to be salty about this, huh? <laughs> I just gotta let them do what they're gonna do. Can't do anything about it. 
Alright, see if we can get the blast to stick that time we did. That's great. So he's dead. She's going. Then he's going. Let's go ahead and kill here. Okay. Working on relationships. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Niche hero builds are, are good for, like, YouTube and stuff. People, people like to see people do those things. No, not my Boudicca. Ah, damn. The da you know it's bad damage when we can't remove one of these guys in, like, one hit, one go. All right. I'm actually going to go ahead and kind of be weird here, though. Oh, man. I want to heal that stress, but we're going to take another hit if we do it. Right, because he's gonna go first. But so like I I think it's worth it, though there's a good chance we get a disease out of it. Alright, I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. The small foundation of she does have a blind, but it can't hit him. It can only hit the back rows. Okay, I think that was generally worth it. Trying to trying to get better at like f getting recovery fights. I'm gonna leave it. The stitching kit is like one of the more pointless items in the game because road you can't use it on the road. You can only use it at the end, and honestly, like there are just better ways to heal. Like the road heal is more effective, honestly. Oh, a relationship, nice and early. That's good. We take those, and it's hopeful as well. That's good. Alright. Whoop, little little lurch there on the cart. Okay, so we're gonna go we're just gonna do this first fight. Two butchers, two goats. We do get to roll first. My priority is gonna be removing the goats if we can. Um Good crit. I should put him in the death store check area. Oh great double stress heal there too. I'm just gonna go ahead and smoke bomb one of these guys. They have pretty low resistances, and they do do, they do do a decent amount of damage. But if you remove the goats, they won't be as much of a problem. There we go. All right. So both goats are now dead. That's good. Yeah. We'll remove the corpse as well. These guys don't have a corpse interaction. Um, they they interact with the uh, with the goats. So. There we go. Look at that. Hopeful already doing its job. The slow suffering begins. Five to ten. We can't kill here, even with the additional fifty percent damage. Um, I'll just go with toe to toe for now. We'll blind the guy with more health because he's more likely to live longer. Uh, yep, we'll go ahead and heal here. And then we will kill this guy. Oh, that's rough. I should have done... I couldn't have done the other attack. Oh, bad roll. Thankfully, he didn't get the bleed there, which is nice. What is it? What procs the... Okay, only when they're comboed. Okay. 
We can still get another heal here, which we definitely want to do. Take advantage while we can. We're not killing this guy this round anyway, most likely. So we'll toe-to-toe -to -toe again just to focus the damage into one person. Yeah, she's going to start getting a hefty bleed here, but that's fine. I should just go ahead and heal that bleed off. Yeah. That's eight damage she won't take next round. Yeah. That was that was definitely the right call. Alright. We're escaping. Right now it's all about just surviving. We wanna we do wanna get as many mastery points as we can, but um that's not the way to do it. From the harvest house. All right, where are we going next? Probably want to try to take more fights than not, but we don't know where everything's at. So, all right. I think we are at one mastery point right now. Yeah, we should get two by the end of this. But I would like to get four or five when we can. It's it's going to be hard to do with. Without a guaranteed set of fights and stuff. I mean, that's that, there's a benefit we could have had. Oh, Master Shrine, there's another one. So that's good. Or Shrine of Reflection, as the the game would have me call it. It's a Mastery Shrine. It gives me Mastery Points. That's all it does. The windmill with the, like, little bit of plague on it. All right, so we're going to go to the right. Through the fields we go. Now, if corn mazes were this creepy, they'd be a great Halloween attraction. If you guys ever been to a haunted corn maze, those things are fucking terrifying. Where they've got like scare actors in the maze. Such a scary experience. If it's done right. But you can say that about anything, right? So. I'd make my own path out and be like, nah! I'm out. Alright, we can fade to black here. And we should blind the big guy. Target prioritization. So even if we don't kill the goat, which we will, at least he is blind. And I think we go ahead and we'll, we'll chaotic offering here. Great miss. That actually pulls us into a good spot. We're going to go ahead and blind him again. And we'll just do this. Get him feeling a little worse wear. That should give us that. Oh, sorry. My eye is very itchy all of a sudden. All right, we're going to iron swan him. There we go. All problems have their solutions. Honestly, I will say that there's like... um. It's kind of a freedom to playing non-path heroes where you just like you just play like I'm just playing them as is. I'm not trying super hard to like build like play them around their very specific skill sets. So Oh um, Guarding Gauntlets is okay. Really want to avoid uh, getting hit, but the weakness isn't as bad on her because she's not dealing direct damage. She's only dealing... Well, she's dealing some direct damage, but it's mostly dots she's dealing, so... I do think I might switch out... Um, I don't know. I mean, this is, like, such a just classic build for her. Emboldening Vapors is okay, but having that back row just like tap with some dot is just so good. Play Grenade is just so very good. Take up these goods and imbue okay. with purpose. 
Pretty good. Pretty good flying there. God damn. All right. Uh, stirring snuff for damage. Um. Yeah, we'll give him the stirring snuff. Sure. Don't need these. Bandages are a good find. Figurating intoxicant can be good. Welcome back, Guten. Who is this brat playing Dark Dungeon? Never heard of him before. Sounds like a terrible guy, though. Um, all right, we'll go. We'll go left. I doesn't really make a difference. What do we? What do we go to? A hoarder? Do we have anything for the hoarder? We have a little bit of money. We might be able to get something. Ooh, I fucking I haven't had a good Yorkshire in so long, man. All right, what do we got here? Oh man. Kieran Kappa just chilling there. We had a hundred baubles. Is there anything we really want to get rid of? I mean, Braggart, maybe. Is it worth getting rid of one of her positive tokens? I mean, Dancer's Ballad is okay. I don't know. It's not. It's really kind of a. It's very niche. Probably should take the glimmers though, since we are running Torchlight. We should at least have a couple of these lying around just in case. Hey, Warbeast, how's it going? Cheers to the coffee. Hope you're doing well. Song of Rousing Tunes is very good. A bit of comfort on the road to damnation. Say, well, okay. We, we don't need to save too much money for food. We do have some food. In fact, we can probably just buy food here. And I'll have to worry about it at the end. And go on our way. Catch Tricketeer video? Oh god. Today's oversight is tomorrow's regret. I made that video in such a rush. <laughs> and uh I've already had so many people be like, oh my god, it's so bad. You put this at uh, D at E tier or whatever, but it's actually F tier. I'm like, alright. <laughs> That's the point of those videos, though. They're made to be, like, controversial, right? I was tempted to put some, like, god tier tink trinket into, like, nobody uses this tier. Haven't unlocked everything myself? Yeah. I to, there was one comment where the guy's like, you haven't even unlocked the full altar yet. How can you talk about this? And it's like, I've unlocked every item in the game. I just don't have all the cart prestige looks. Go back and spend six. You you did spend. You did you did recommend I go spend six hours editing it. Essentially, shame, shame. Um. Sure. <laughs> Fuck off, potato. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate you. That's a good one. <laughs> Alright, priority here is the goats. Uh, that one is not dead. How much health they have, and this does... That has a chance to kill. A chance. I say... Oh, man. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. This is gonna give me enough damage to most likely kill it with. Which we're gonna need, because now it's gonna have repost, isn't it? Oh no, that just heals them. What I love about that is that heals everybody, so that's like super cool. Alright, let's just get this one dead then. That one we can guarantee would be a kill. This one at least we'll hopefully miss. Yeah. So. Damn it. This is gonna hurt. Oh. 14 damage on a base hit. Those guys, when they fucking hit, man, it's a it's a problem. All 
All right, let's go ahead and pull him. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. See so we can make that guy feel the pain. Could have missed that, but he didn't. So that's super cool. She's resisting the bleeds really well, though, which is good. All right, that guy should be dead now, which is good. Ah, the songs will write together. A simple variable. All right. Not bad. And a mastery point from that, which is very good. Some candles and chocolates, very good as well. They still get hero goals, which is interesting. On top of their... As a wanderer, they have a... Is that a thing now? Yeah, they reach the next end. So you can actually get more candles by doing the wanderer stuff, I guess. You get an additional set of candles. I mean, four candles can make a difference. Alright. Oblivion's Rampart. Let's just take a look at our combat items and see if we've got anything that we want. Um, sure. Gotta remember this is chapter two, so we're gonna have crits, not um, taunts, which will be nice. All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, echoing march here. Did resist the initial move. Hopefully he doesn't resist this one. Wow, okay. Um, surprising that he resisted both those move resists. I don't think his move resist is that high. I'm going to be really mad if I find out that's a 10% move resist. 20%. Still fairly mad. Not exactly the uh, the start we wanted there, for sure. Uh, their ability to blind is so obnoxious. Oh, and that crit. Well done. Definitely not the best start here. Empowered. Emboldened. Yeah. Oof. Amazing how fast cultists can really screw you up. Who's got some... Uh, I think he needs it the most. Yeah, that should be enough to kill that guy at least. Yeah, we're going to try to pull him. Okay. Okay, so he's dead next round. Another crit! Bro, what's the crit rate on Disharmony? Alright, he'll stress here. Oh, braggart. It's gonna hurt. Death's door. Oof.
Probably shouldn't have gone with that heal, honestly. Probably should have just... Yeah, he's he's annoying, to say the least. Getting him out of position makes him much easier to deal with, though. If you can get him in position one and two, he's just... He just does a little bit of damage. It's really not that big a deal. These two are obnoxious, though. The double bleeds and blinds. It's very, very annoying. All right, that one's on death door, so that's good. I'm going to heal off that bleed so he doesn't just go straight to being... I'm actually... I'm going to take the hit for him. Um, He's British, not Scottish. Okay, she did the one-person hit. It's just, just in case she did the two-person hit. I didn't want um, didn't want him getting hit down the death door that crit. All right, we'll go ahead and toe to toe here. I'll remove a lot of our tokens and give us a taunt. Get him blinded. All right, now we can start healing a little bit. Just so we don't have to do as much healing at the end. This is also really good for relationships. She's self-healing. Ah, really should have been a miss. Should have, woulda, coulda. Yep, good job, Bate. Could have seen that one coming a mile away. <laughs> Alright, let's just let's just get this fight over with. Stop trying to drag it out. You're welcome. Yeah, fuck you. Alright, you gonna do it again? There we go. Much more like much, much better. Thank you. That's what I like to see. But but me fight him. But but me but me. <laughs> All right, we got a mastery point out of that. We got a couple good items. We got a loom. We got a dark impulse that increases stun resist. It's pretty good. Minor heart seeker. All right, first region, not too bad. I think we got through that fairly well. I do want to think about what boss we might want to fight. <laughs> but me, but me, say that wow. you'll but me. You want auto-tune version of it? I don't know how to auto-tune. Nope, that was perfect. All right, cool. Now I want a full remix. Yo, somebody, somebody made Shelby a full intro song for her t her stream, like a her starting soon screen, that has like like quotes that she said. Like they got like audio files from her, like saying stuff that she says normally when she streams, uh, and it's just fucking wild. It's crazy. Oh my god. Like this is the like the one time we run a, a run that actually that would be affected by that. All right. Um, who are we taking? The the redeem is text. There is a text to speech redeem. There is. But hey, I might have to put you on the back lines for a minute. I think a bounty hunter is gonna be a really good fit for our team. Oh yeah, it's misspelled. It's been misspelled since I've had it. All right. Hey, Ryder, what's up? How you doing? Tried and tested. A bond to be it's a super on. peach. That's what it means. I'll deal first, okay? Ah, I see her. Well, Ranger, 
also welcome on in. Uh, I did this by accident, and then I just changed my title. <laughs> I I got... Yeah, I didn't mean to do this. I just, like, picked characters, and then I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> Boudicca and Swan. Do -do. Bounty Hunter will copy him pretty much. He pretty much will. Uh, speed. Ooh, he started with Crime Lord's Molars. Ignores move resist, 50%. If target is comboed, he does an additional 20% damage. And if target is stunned, he does an additional 5% crit. Very, very nice. No, 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 no. I hate that Bounty Hunter still doesn't use his actual barks at the end, at least of the items. Oh, does he have a subset of barks that he doesn't use? Interesting. I like Wanderers. I, I honestly don't think they're that bad. One learns quickly when surviving. I think I was saying this earlier. I think they just give you kind of a bit of freedom to just kind of play however you want to play, you know, and just enjoy it. Does he really say that? Is that like actually something that's in the game code or are you making that up? Get ready to eat uppercuts. What the fuck? That's actually a that's fucking hilarious. That's funny. <laughs> I haven't even looked at what region we're going to yet. The next stop is leagues away. Plan accordingly. All right. Rain, fire, and rot. Is there no sanctuary? Such a good trinket. The best trinket in the game, chat. I'm pretty sure I rated this one as who's using this. Um, Librarian or Leviathan? Do we, can we handle Leviathan? Can we make that work? 70% movers. I mean, 70% movers is pretty good. Provisioner got any drums? You got any drummy drums? Big old fat stonking drums? No. For token clearing. I mean, yeah, sure. Whatever you say, video game. Um, and we don't, but we have a lot of good shit in here. We should probably be using. Oh, fuck you, Reagan. God damn it. That's. It's not okay. We can definitely do like a lot of token generation here. On the road to damnation. Le Leviathan? Hey, Scooby, how's it going? Leviathan. Yeah, there's a Leviathan in this game. And it ain't even Subnautica. <laughs> yeah, about to, yeah, I literally said it. it ain't even Subnautica. What you get from that? Lazy eye? Oh, God, no, not her range skills. Chat. Give the, it's so good, Bate. It's such a good fucking game. I I, I mean, Thassalophobia definitely make that def difficult to play, but you should definitely give it a shot because it's it's very good. I pretty much only play it on stream. Yeah. 
Subnautica is a gem of a game. It's an absolute gem of a game. It's a great combination of ambient storytelling and also just... It's not even meant to be a horror game. It's just... it's, I, And I don't even think it ca it is a horror game. I think it's a suspenseful game. It has very short moments of, like, horror where it's like, Oh, God, Leviathan! Especially with, like, the Reaper Leviathans and stuff. But, like... It's it's the anticipation. It's like the un, the stress of the unknown. That that feeling is very hard to get in a game, and it it captures it very well. I don't dislike Subnautica Blow Zero. It's not as good. Definitely not as good. But it's still very good. I don't think I don't think it'll be very hard. I think it would be very hard to capture what Subnautica did. And again, you know, All right. the coast. also a say gear so. I don't need the trophy from here, though. Like, neither trophy... I mean, the Flame Drain trophy has some value for us, I guess. Yeah, and the island stuff? Yeah. Yeah, it's not terrible. I just think it's... When you compare it to something like the original, it's very hard to make something that's as good. I think it, I think it stands fine on its own. I think it's very pretty. I think they've done a good job with the design of the game. I think the story is just lackluster. I'm see. Yeah, I'm sorry your neck hurts. Yeah, exactly. Like, Amnesia. Amnesia was a game that was genre defining for what it was. Like the first Amnesia was like. I mean, it did so much for the world of horror for gaming. Hell, for Let's Plays, Amnesia, like, skyrocketed, like, like PewDiePie and uh, Markiplier, they got their start playing Amnesia, and, you know, so, like, um, Signalis? No, I have not, Naz. I have not. Da, 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 I really don't want to hurt relationships here. This will not give me anything. Well, actually, it will give me... Nope, that'll hurt one relationship. That'll hurt that really. Let's not. Fuck it. The good food shows. The good food shows. Good food helps. When classic horror feel PS1 era, that's the game. I'll have to check it out. The game I really want to check out is Soma. I've heard a lot of good things about Soma from a horror game standpoint. Oh, good. Uh, um, can somebody explain to me how the fuck he has three negative... Did he start with these? We just picked him up. I didn't pay attention at the end. Did we did we roll these on him by giving him I'm guessing these are from uh items. I mean he started with off guard. He never gets blinded. I, I swear to God, it's impossible to blind the fucking ghoul. Also, look at that AI fucking targeting the next person in line. Fucking great. Double weakness starting off here because of light sensitive. We're not getting We're not got a good set of quirks. We definitely need to try and find a hospital and see what we can make happen here. Oh my god. I know it's a 40% chance to resist, but like, I feel like it's nigh impossible to get this guy to be blind. I feel like he has a special resistance against blind. I was also expecting Hal there. For some reason, he didn't go for it.
Bounty Hunter is totally fair, dude. But he's... But no, I want him as a regular hero. God, he's so fucking good, man. All right. Definitely helpful that we have him for the Shroud. All right. It costs four candles, though. It's nothing. Four candles is nothing. Like, early on, yeah. But once once you've gotten a, quite a few, like... Yeah, like, it's... Honestly, they should make the cost of him increase <laughs> as you get to the end of the altar progression. Because at a certain point, like... Or, I mean, eventually they should just make it where you actually have to pay the candles up front, so there's actually a chance that you can't hire him. Um, getting sick, yeah, exactly. Like, if you're, if you're, once you start getting to the point where you're at least getting through the exemplar every time, your uh, four candles is just nothing. Um, all right. We, need, we do need to think about getting some good trinkets here. Um, is this where I take an anchoring charm just so we can. We can fight the Leviathan a bit easier, a bit, bit calmer. I mean, 15% move resist is a lot of percentage. Do we try the Leviathan? Can we even make it to the Leviathan? Did we, like, we didn't lock ourselves out, did we? Oh, we could go for it, right? Like, we've got a team that can, between these two, that can pretty much one-shot the hand fairly effectively. With Wanderers? No. <laughs> There's a Kappa there, though. All balls, says the guy. All balls. Only balls, in fact. I have an emote for him. I have I have to I have to do it. I have to get better at the fight too. It has gotten easier. Um, but I do I do need to get better at the fight. And the only way to get better at the fight is to just fucking do it, right? So Says the guy with no balls. Hey, that's where the P is stored. Is that where you guys keep the P? Is that where you guys have been keeping the P? Oh, God. You've imagined that five move resist? Oh, God. Thankfully, our front row is like, like, has a decent chance of resisting it. Has a, has a chance. Ha, has a chance. There's a chance that we, that, it's not great, actually, now I think about it. But it's a chance. So you're saying I have a chance. Be alien isolation. Ooh, I, uh, me and Shelby played that like two years ago for Halloween on stream. And I think we got through like the first like two hours of the game before we gave up. We were so like fucking scared. Very, very good game though. I've watched a lot of people play it. I don't do well with horror games, man. And from what I can tell, that game captures, like, the horror thought process very, very well, you know? Which is good, but also, like, terrifying. We shall sing them to their graves! That'd be a shitty song. Just don't want to get stunned here. Hunt with me! Almost puts him to death. More like five hours into it. Yeah. Oh my god. I hate blind, man. I fucking hate blind, man. I hate it. I, I hate making runs that work around it. I don't hate that. Oh, good. Now the dogs have fucking watchdogged each other. Emery disease has a vaccine. Except that one. We don't, we don't talk about that one. That was a lucky hit.
Oh yeah, we crit the shit out of that corpse. We'll say a trophy that'd be probably good for this team would be the general's trophy. Being able to just constantly fade to black would have a lot of value. Plus also, you know, Hellion doesn't like being moved. Bounty Hunter don't give a shit. You throw him in any spot, he's like, I. Right. People are like, I don't need Bounty Hunter. I have a Highwayman. Yeah. I honestly didn't play him that much in the first game. I found his mechanics to, his marking mechanics and stuff to require too much setup. And I, and you're, I found other characters just better to play. I mean, I ran Highwayman and Hellmaster all the time. But I did not run Bounty Hunter that often. It was not a character that I like went and picked up all the time. Yeah, exactly. He's more about moving people. Uppercut and butted hither. I wish I was butted hither. Bought a shit ton of butter for that turkey though. It's gonna be gonna be buttery. Noise. I got butter. I got herbs. It's gonna be a nice herb butter. Ching 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 ching. Got all the stuff. Alright, let's go fight a fucking Leviathan. Let's go fight a Leviathan! Fish, fuck fish. Well, that's... You're not wrong, Ranger. You're actually quite correct. Oh, wow. You got the Bane. Good job. I love the German translations. No, I need you to be blind, Mr. Cannon. I don't know how that works, but I'm not going to question it. Do, 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 because he does that he only hits the front two so don't have to worry about that as much misfire free stress healing thank you God damn. I don't know how we stunned it, but I'm not gonna ask questions. I would recommend you don't I you don't ask him either. BB can do anything. Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. I think I think my tier list has made it to the group of people that want to be mad at it. Because it's... Uh, I'm getting a fair amount of comments now. And it's all just people being like, This is bad! <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Be salty. All right, let's go. Also, just realized I misread your message, Ranger. As BB can do anything, that's me. But you meant bounty hunter, and my dyslexia made me feel better about myself. All right, let's take our combat items. Sure. Sure, why not? We'll see how we fare. This will be our first set of fisherman fights anyway, so too bad. <laughs> it's 
It's a baby! It's a baby! Oh yeah, crit 22 heal. I mean, the downside of pulling the baby is we did put the captain in position, but... Okay, well, that's... Okay. Great work. Baby's dead. Okay. Go ahead and blind back here. I mean, yeah, he's still gonna do all hands on deck. Actually, no, he's not. Ha, ah, because babies don't have corpses. Fun fact, babies don't have corpses. That's a real life thing. They did a lot of research for that. Don't ask me how they did the research. A resounding response. Love to see all these crits. Okay. Keel Hall. His ability to bleed people who hit him is so, in, like, I mean, it's just annoying. But you combine that with that debuff that he gives, you know, it's just, she's going to get additional bleed from that. It's just crazy. Obviously, that's the si Don't. Okay, so misclicking is a bad idea, guys. Just letting you know. Don't fucking hit corpses. God damn. I deserve that crit. Ah! I mean, all those things existed. Yeah, a flashbang is just gunpowder and phosphorus. I mean, that stuff was uh, available. They had cannons. And now that there's much more effective flashbangs this day and age, but you know. Alright, so obviously big threats here are the Docker with Make Way and the Fishmonger with just the pure amount of damage she can do. Um, probably gonna just put damage where I can, even though the double weak. Nah, let's not. We'll just we'll just peel. There we go. That actually worked out really well for us. Just throw sand. Pocket sand. Alright, we have to hope that some of these blinds work there's one that's the one that i probably care about the most this one i care about because briny spray sucks but okay and yeah okay well we're probably wasting all our move resists you know uh yeah we can use this here because it's really not going to be useful in the in the next fight besides for the block token but okay, she's much less useful up here Should be enough to kill her. Hopefully we can blind these two. Ah, oh, no, I can't. I'm out, I'm out of blinds. Didn't see that coming. No relationships. Oof, the... That's a lot of damage. That's also a lot of damage. A small foundation of trust. Yeah, casually just hitting harder than Hellion. What kind of punch is he doing that bleeds people? I have questions. Is 
spiked knuckles. They don't look very spiky. They look pretty, pretty flat, pretty flaccid to me. I don't think that's the right description. Uh, oh yeah, more bleed dealt. I mean, I guess we could put this on and maybe make some value out of it, but probably not. We do actually have a lot of people who bleed on our team. In fact, everybody, including the occultist, bleeds, but... Uh, he's Wolverine. Ah, got it. Cool. All right. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, our favorite boy. Thank Bot Spot. Good job. I don't really have any way to deal with a blind, do I? Hmm. Are you stun this guy? You definitely can't. Good hit. It's mortal! Eyes of the Storm. Be funny if Eyes of the Storm could miss. Understand that would kind of break mechanics on him, but it would be funny, okay? Ha ha, funny. All right, we're not gonna waste uh, winded tokens on a, or waste uh, our big attack on that. All right, let's see. It's gonna try to pull him down. We should be able to one hit the hand with a uh, howling end. So, yeah. Surely the bounty hunter will resist. Surely. Don't call me Shirley. Surely the blind will proc. Oh, Jesus Christ. Bro. Can you have m more health? Res like, don't do that. That's rude. And then bounty hunter is going to be in position one, which I kind of forgot about. But we can toe-to-toe -to -toe our way up. It's fine. Thanks to the crit token, though. I don't know where that came from, but take advantage of that. Snort. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Where was I? God, I love how often that you can do deep rising every fucking time. I'm glad your hand is so easily to recover. Like, it's so fair. Oh my god, we did it, chat. Oh my god. We're gaming, chat. We're fucking gaming. I love that Undertow exists as a thing. Good miss. Oh, yeah. Get fucking wrecked, big boy. Pro Gaber. Pro Gamer in the chat. Why does Breath of the Sea not count as a fucking move? Why does it not give you dots, you piece of shit? Yes. Compassion, quiet the howling mind. Die, you big oaf. Dodge, you dipshit. You can do it. Yes. Alright. Fuck that dude. Thanks. I'm glad the Wayne Rider waits. The Wayne Rider's like, bro, why do you have this giant fucking finger? And when you want me to put it on your goddamn wagon, I did not fucking go to six years of Wayne Wright school to do this shit. All right, I'm the finest Wayne Wright in the next seven counties, and this is what you want me to do? Gaming. Hey, Emerald, how's it going? We just gamed so fucking hard, guys. I don't think anybody's actually ever gamed that hard before. I'm just gonna be realistic of you here. I think I'm probably the best gamer that ever lived. 
Um, drop the stale bread. Wait. What? Why did it unequip his trinkets? That's fucking. That's weird. That's weird. Um, this would be great if we had like intermezzo or something. Casually ignores, yeah, just casual. Totally fair character, by the way. It's totally fair. Carved Bodkin, I feel like, has some place somewhere on somebody, maybe. I mean, we could do this and use like harvest, like harvest value potential. We're not really using Battle Ballad. So there's some potential there to get that little extra. No, this is if bleeding, by the way. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. If bleeding, yeah. For the lever strap. Sure. I don't know why Red Hook is gatekeeping him. Shh. Fair. I mean, it's really hard to get those trinkets, so, like... Ow! I'm gonna die to this fucking fight. I don't want to waste that on him, do I? You you just you just go sip in the back row there. Hey guys, there's other characters to hit, I promise you. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's just one duration dealt. Ah, oh, which is still, it's still pretty good. Yeah, Tangle be like, speed is just an illusion. Please, other there are other heroes. Really? Dude, did you punch a dog in your last life? Like what the fuck? Bounty Hunter is the type of person to punch a dog. You, you, you know what? You're not fucking wrong. Oh, shut up, dog. blind the shit out of that corpse. See how blind it is? It's actually not got eyes anymore. That's how fucking blind it is. Come here, puppy. Goodbye. Got a lot of good items. I, well, I think it's because we have uh, we have some stuff on our cart, right? That's generating stuff. Maybe not. We're definitely gonna have like an abundance of like bandages and stuff. Trap maker's kit is also kind of good. Like it's good to generate all this stuff. Like you don't have to spend money to get it, and you can kind of just use. You don't need to feel as bad about using items if you're just constantly making stuff. Concoctions and powders and the woven items. Woven items are bandages. There's another woven item. I don't know what it is. Can't remember what it is. Um, -da 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 -da. Yeah, 
Yeah, the Bounty Hunter was a good switch in for the Occultist, just for the Demon's Pull. So we still, I mean, we don't get the corpse management, but we still get the, we get the body management. Let the body set the floor. By confronting the past, we learn to face almost, the almost fucking clicked on the Bounty Hunter. I wonder how many people have done that by accident so far and been like, wait, what? Where's my mastery point? <laughs> Why do I not get one? I have no past. All right, we're going to go mastery points. Snort, yeah. Snort is snorting his way all the way to the end. Dude, maybe the candles are made of cocaine, and that's why he wants the candles, so he can just snort them. Break them down into a powder. That's it. That's the answer. Kind of boring going through two mastery point spots, but... Getting, getting lots of mastery points early or as early as possible is going to be very helpful. Hospital? Yeah, don't mind if I do. How are we doing on the map? All right, it's the last area, sweet. Doesn't give a shit. Yeah, he doesn't. He he does not look back. He doesn't reflect. He doesn't. He has no emotional... He detached himself from his past. No, my rabies! You don't have rabies. Also, you're not even here, Bate. You had sepsis, and it, I'm not gonna be able to cure it because of this fucking stupidity. Never mind, I'm waiting at the end, yeah. The treatment is harsh. I'm not doing anything on that. Effective. Braggart would also be good to get rid of, but that combat start weakness every time is fucking pain in my dick. Plus, with sepsis, it was just making Boudica very weak. All right. I don't think this should be too big of an issue. The bane is gone from you. You can fish now. Look at that. Honestly, I quite love it when the cardinal is on this mash because we get mashes that start like this and it's like, okay. Sure. Let me just like start with the altar in the best position. your void and fuck your altar I don't care if it's basically the cultist equivalent of a puppy dog is dead now Wow, I'm amazed that they resisted that stun. Don't ask. Don't tell. Don't <laughs> Boom! Get vessels, nerd. You suck, dude. You can literally summon black holes and you can't even fucking hit with them. bad at all. Bounty Hunter definitely is an absolute chad. I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Oh my god, we got a spore grenade. Can we get early experiment? Um... 
You're paying me a lot for this. <laughs> Some good barks. You drop that one. Do we use this? Wounding words? Thirty-eight health compared to fifty-one. That's rough, man. That's a lot of damage, though. Plus fifty percent damage is it's a lot. Makes her very squishy, though. Yeah, should be fine. Should be fine. It's all right. I guess we're not fighting the eye, are we? So let's say it's like if we go against the eye, she's gonna get tanked down to zero health in one hit anyway. It doesn't make a difference. I'm out of coffee, chat. The familiar heart crackles invitingly once again. Oh, good. Thank you for all that. The Shambling Corpse. We do more damage against gaunt enemies, which is good. Uh, all right. Uh, guided Meditation adds a positive target, a positive token to a target at the beginning. Um, yeah. Who knows what we might discover? Nothing good. Right. Don't really have the money to do much anyway. No longer has meaning. If indeed it ever did. Any negative things we want to get rid of here? It'd be Toon Hummer, Pyrophobia, Sprained Ankle, or Braggart. Let's see if we can get rid of Braggart to get rid of it. Very good. Fun fact. Fun fact number 111. Vincent Van Gogh only sold one painting during his lifetime. It wasn't until after... Yeah, we knew that one. It wasn't until after his, his death that he became famous. Okay. Whoop, whoop. Don't know why. Swan and birthday boy. Oh, good. There's the ceremonial drum. Put that on here. God damn it. Gosh damn it, Jimmy. Oh my god. I didn't really think about this. How are we going to deal with the exemplar? Really not suited for it. Shut up. The answer to your question is no. What? The next stop is leagues away. Plan accordingly. 
Um, I don't know. I don't know if we actually take the sluice. We might just we might just power into this. I don't know if it's gonna give us much. I mean, obviously we get some trinkets, but. And camp tribes of our land crumbling. I oh, so we just go for it. Sometimes you don't take the sluice, just kill him. I oh shit, I didn't think about that honestly. <laughs> the tangle, it's tanglicious. War rewards only resignation. resignation. Good middle. Watchtower is good for us. There is no other choice. Sure, there is. Ooh, time for the doesn't happen. Tangle enemies are way too good. Way too smart. They know what the fuck's up. Oh, I should probably do that. I don't know why they. I will. Hey, Rody, how you doing, bud? I'm doing good. I'm doing good, man. Just cruising. Cruising, doing the thing. Uh, she did all right. She died to uh, Absrad, but she still had like a minus 20 minute pace or something from last time she did it. So pretty good. She's getting her hair did right now. Speaking of. Yeah, yeah, she's been killing it, man. I mean, her, like, five-minute PB on GE is fucking wild. Bumped her up to sixth place. It's crazy. Nice. Everybody now gets a haste buff, which I really dislike. I mean, it's good for this team, but it's generally not something good. All right, which way do you want to go, Boudica? All right, we go where Boudica wants to go. She's a little, she's feeling a little stressed out. She's got a little, little shaky, a little ang anxious, you know? And there she goes. <laughs> she just, I, I did all that work to get you unstressed. And you just went and fucking stressed yourself again, you dipshit. Goddamn, Boudica. I'm glad I've not named anybody after you. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Uh, no worries, Rody. Hope you have a good day at work. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> this man just... This man, it's because his eyes are glowing. That's why. He's got glowing eyes. Glowing eyes mean you can't blind a man. Come hither, my friend. Different move, but same idea. Some things never change. What bled you there? Was that the Hellion? It's gotta be the Hellion's like additional attack, right? Stab! Stab in the head! Dude, we're gonna get howled. Nope. Just a crit skull toss. Good resist on the stress though. Thank God for greater guild in mind. You'll love to see it, chat. You'll love to see it. Just stun half my team. Bro, only two rounds and you stun two people because that's a fair fair thing for you to be able to do. So can how how can disease you? Fucking super amazing ability. Right. Ten number seven hundred. Oh my god, we did it, chat. Oh my god. We blinded the unblindable. We did the unthinkable. That should uh, apply uncheck power on crit. I don't know how we missed a howl. We fucking dodged those sound waves. Yeah, that's true. That's valid. The worries is a, is a non. Is a disease I don't worry about generally. Fucking zip zooping through the sound waves. We're like the Flash, motherfucker. Miss me with that shit. All 
Are you mocking me? I wasn't, but now I am. Shoulder more than your share of the burden. To remove the round limit on Google. Yeah, that fight gets uh very dumb very fucking quickly. It's like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, I don't know what's right here. This helps them hurts that this is the best choice. This is the best choice. Oh, okay. I mean, two smoke bombs and two thunderclap grenades is not a is not a laughing matter. That's a that's a good set of items right there. Everybody else, the you got stuff. Everybody got stuff. We all got stuff. Three stacks of howl. Never ending howl. We're going through the tunnel. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Now I want to watch Avatar again. Oh my god. Yo, Avatar Last Airbender. Such a good fucking show. A slow dissection. Uncle Iroh is fucking iconic. The writing in that show is so good. The characters are so, like, well written, like, feel just like fucking characters. Like, their emotions feel true and real. Uh, so, so fucking good. Love that show. Korra is also very good. Korra, like, was. Legend of Korra was, like, slept on when it, like, first came out. Everybody was like, not as good! But, like, in reality, it's very good. It's just different. Not as good. It's definitely not as good, but it's very good. All right. Moment of truth. Misfire. Oh, fuck yeah, I'm so good. Uh, it's an animated TV show. Avatar The Last Airbender. It's very, very good. It's definitely a kid's show. But it's like you can watch it as a as an adult and still enjoy it. Not not the Avatar series that has giant blue people, nor the Avatar series that well, nor the movie. But we don't talk about the movie. The movie didn't happen, all right? The movie was a. I feel so bad, man. There's so many movies like that. Um, the three that come to mind is the Avatar movie, like the Avatar: The Last Airbender movie. Uh, Percy Jackson movie and the Aragon movie that were like all really good like things that people enjoyed as young adults and then were translated horribly into a movie adaption. The movie was banished to the Shadow Realm pretty much. All right. What are you gonna do? Defensive? All right, defensive formation to start us off with. Thought we might do uh, volley, but no. We're going defensive. You are welcome at my fire. That means she wants to fuck you. Probably. I mean, it might not. Who knows? Double crit blight. I'm glad you existed. Order volley. Nope. No, no order volley. Ruined in the adaptation. Yep. Eh, it's a common, common trope. You know, and I, I understand why it happens. It's usually because, you know, a director and a, a group of writers, they want to put their own take on something. And obviously, there's also just the reality that making a movie out of something changes the way the, the information has to be presented. Like a book can display information much differently than a movie can, which makes sense. Slider cut, yeah. Oh god, I forgot about the revive. Oh no! Oh, we fucked. He's gonna bring that dude right back, isn't he? Oh my god, he didn't. Yes, I have. I didn't, I, I didn't crazy dislike it, but I, I really wasn't a huge fan of it, for sure. 
Oh, hell no. He misplayed. Yeah, he did. Dude had no idea what the fuck he was doing. Don't worry, I got it. Oh, I forgot you can get double power by hitting somebody who's comboed and killing them. It's definitely very rare. I, I do not see it very often, I won't lie. No, da, da, no. Boom! Take a grenade to the face. The is like, I feel like it versus the animated series is like the blade. Yeah, I can see that. I don't know, I'm just gonna do Equity March because I feel like playing music against the guy who plays music against me. <laughs> a cultist wouldn't. He's a respectful man. He would ask permission first, as every good man should. The loathing whispers. My fucking bill for uh, my el electric has gone down $120 because of winter. How fucking wild is that? So dumb, man. I mean, I also abuse the shit out of, like, my electric, but still. Down, 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 down. Oh, uh, he's dead. Let's not make the mistake of doing demons pull there and pulling the diseasey boy closer to us. Well, that's not exactly where I'd like you to be. I forget that the ordainment here does that. It's been so long. Back in my day, we only had one ordainment. Actually, that's never true. I think ordainments came out after Chapter 2 was released, right? So I don't think uh, we ever only had one. That was uh, almost a misclick. Back in my day, ghoul stack dodge. Back when that was truly one of the most infuriating fucking fights ever. Jesus Christ, you're good. Stop giving me effects. It's fine. Welcome relief from caustic, caustic agony. It still is. It's not. It's not nearly as bad as it was though. All right, all right. Now I can pull you with some horizontal spaghetti. The evasive ghoul. Before I run into two of them. Next fight's probably gonna be double ghoul. Raz al ghoul! Talking about Batman. Alright, academic study, what are we gonna get? You you don't wanna open it up? Why? The collect oh yeah. It's meant to be played. That's the intent of it. Um Yeah, sure. Holy fuck! Did we just roll five? There's no way! Dude, how did you get the shits from that? Oh, actually the first time seeing this. Damn, that's one of the rarest items in the game. The wine. I don't know what kind of wine you're drinking, but it gave you the shits, man. Uh... One of the best in items you can get. It'd be great if you could use it in combat, but obviously you can't. But it's it's very good for just getting rid of relations or adding relationships. Drink to that. 
Uh, we have so much shit. Stuck up beach, how's it going? Yeah, it's, I mean, the, normally you get the blood from that. that then that is a, a reference to the Crimson Court. But I guess you can get, what What does he have? I'm guessing, no, sometimes it, it's an interaction, like a quirk interaction, but. Yeah, I, I don't know how rare that item is. I've never, 500 hours, I've never seen it. Of course, you have to, like, find a study, get the right, um you know, if item inside the study and then have the right interaction with that item to get it, but 500 hours now? Yeah, I'm about 520 hours in. Okay, well, I mean, like, I wouldn't normally, I mean, we're not really doing too much with Severed Finger, but like, I th think it's better than Carved Bodkin. We can at least get some pretty good harvest value out of it. Now we're dealing a lot of bleed with him. In fact, I might even want to consider just switching the bleed abilities, like doing Slice Off and uh, relying on Smoke Bombs for the... Like, he's definitely like a bleed jester at this point, so I think we just switch to Slice Off... Maybe we have Fade to Black. The problem with th doing Fade to Black here is that I, I don't have any way. Yeah, this is fine. But at least that way we can move. I'm not using Echoing March very often. It obviously has its place, but we've, we have a we have a, a cultist. We'll be fine. For solo and finale, yeah. Let me just throw my fucking Hellion back into position two constantly i haven't honestly i have not done a solo finale jester build in a very long time i really should do another one it's a very fun play style i just haven't done one in a while i need to get myself a breacher jester breacher jester soloist okay um I don't really care to take the item here. It's going to give us Drone Pipe or Astroglass Fruit, which I don't give a shit about either of them. I think they've said that they're going to, like, that a lot of the sounds for the Jester are still placeholders. I think they're still going to... Okay. Well, good thing we didn't remove all of his movement abilities, huh? Double stun. Let us hope to finish this quickly. There we go. That could have gone a lot worse. Somehow we actually came out of that shuffle okay. An unexpected find. Pyrotechnic Dazzler is actually pretty good. Stun and Daze can be very powerful, especially against something like the Exemplar, if we get lucky on him. Which we definitely have to think about how we're going to deal with the Exemplar. I have I have no good way to deal with the, uh, with the combo. So, killing the Ad is probably going to be the best bet for me, but even then, that's only going to delay it. 
Uh, I don't know if we take this fight unless we have to. Yep, we have to. Okay. Should probably put on the uh, the glimmers and start using them at this point. Uh, fucking goddamn! Seriously, twice in a row. Oh, fuck you guys. Ah, yep. Yeah, didn't work on any of you. Of course it didn't. That's a gander. Take a gander of that gander. Did that bleed not stick on either of the... God damn it. Uh, that's a good miss. Shuffle's just obnoxious, man. In fact, we got that same one twice in a row. It's just like, come on. There's like eight different options it could be. No, it's no paths. No paths. God damn, dude. The resist today. All right, I gotta, I gotta be a bit more serious. This fight's about to take a left turn if I'm not careful. Kind of already has. I creature dens, man. Fuck it out. Jaws of the battalion. It's such a cool sounding name. Jesus Christ, the speed too. Yeah. Oh, fuck off. Really? You're not even ordained. Yeah, we're on we're on resentment. That's what's giving the burn. All right. I hate using these things. But yeah, it would be nice if there were other ways to debuff. But like, holy shit! How do we have this much bleed already? God damn! Jesus Christ! Fourteen bleed, Jesus. Yeah, Gander can do that. It's it's uh, it's definitely a reference to uh, the Houndmaster for sure. Bro, bro. An opportunity squandered. Dragged back from the brink. Still got a whole another round of fights after this. It's just fucking insane. Three stress damage. Seems legit. Crit heal. Thank you. Why is that three stress? Because it's a, it's mournful. He's sad. God, we're already back up to eight bleed. I've used I've used most of my heals already. Which is fucking insane. And carelessness. All marks of oh. Using that ability twice in a row. The okay, the days actually saved our ass there. All right, there goes all my battlefield medicine heals. Jesus Christ! Oh, fuck this game, man. I hate this game, dude. All right, we already know which what the next hero is, but I'm not gonna spoil it. It's been leaked. 
So I already know one of them, and I don't know what the other one is, but I... From what I have heard, I'm fairly certain it'll be a returning hero, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to say who the leaked hero is. I mean, it could just be a red herring for all we know. But from what we know, we, we know who the next hero is. And again, I'm not, yeah, not going to say it. If you want to know that information, you can go to the Darkest Dungeon Discord and uh, go into the spoilers chat and just ask and somebody will tell you. Are you fucking kidding me? I didn't even know you could get two ganders. Fuck. Apply on hit bleed, I believe. Like more bleed, an additional crit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Your resists are not that fucking high. Your bleed resist is very fucking high. <laughs> All right. Okay, fine. 75% bleed resist. Got it. Unsteady stances. Exhaustion takes hold. Gee, ah! Why? Why do I even have abilities? What's the point? I'm misplaying because I'm getting salty here. Holy fucking shit. Please. Okay. 10 heals. Good. Thank you. Keeping us in the game. That's not particularly great, but... Yeah. No. Mm. Yeah. Our Jester's dead. Wanderer is fine, but... Oh, fucking hell. Speed be on our... F oh my god, the speed! Dragged back from the brink. He's a 12 bleed! I mean, it's this is obscene! 12 bleed, 8 bleed, this is fucking wild! I need to kill things. You, God, I, the resists. It's the last region. This is just fucking dumb, man. Even for this game, this this is just obscene at this point. I can't do any fucking damage. The stacking death blows. Soup. Yeah, we're done. This game, guys. I, we've, we've lost at least one hero on this fight. There's no way. I'm upset you can get double gander. I don't think that's fucking fair by any stretch of the event. 17 bleed. How is this okay? The minstrel takes Fuck. the final bow. Ah. Uh... This is a forced fight, by the way. I couldn't avoid this by any amount. Like, I would not have taken this fight. A steady subtraction, an invariable result. That's fucking fair. That's a fair move. 
Double gander is fucking busted. This is the part I hate about this. I The run is over, right? I can't do Exemplar now. What the fuck am I supposed to do? It's the part I hate, because it's like, I, I want to keep playing and, like, bring it back. But the, what's there to bring back? Like, I can't, I can't realistically make this work. Even with the additional 33% bleed chance, we weren't able to stack bleed. These are pointless on us now. And what do we get for that? We got minus three stress relief. Or no, this actually heals diseases. That's actually pretty good, but... I, I mean, I just like, what do you do in that situation? Like two ganders, uh, the ability of them to make the dogs do an additional 2% bleed on top of their bleed, I mean, 17 bleed you can't fight something that can stack bleed that much not without like well look here not if i taken all these bandages we might have lived right had i known <sighs> i don't know how far until the exemplar i'll fucking give it a shot let's take a look at our abilities i mean we have a team like if I guess if anybody was gonna die, I guess like that's this is the the team that could make it work. Except for stress heal, obviously is gonna be a problem. We need to get some stress healing item. What happened to my mineral water? I thought I had mineral. Did I equip it? No. Did I drop it? Did I fucking drop mineral water? Probably did. Or because I'm an idiot. Oh, I have nothing that can heal stress, so that's good. What the fuck was that, game? I was hitting left. Did you see that? What just happened? <laughs> Literally holding the A button. Game, I need you to give me give me something. Like dodge or blind needs to be actually fucking applied. Oh, I'm gonna fucking rage, dude. This game has given me nothing but salt recently. Yeah, hit through both the blinds. It's really fucking cool when you do that. I I, I love that part of the game. My favorite fucking part. Can you do any other ability? Holy shit, lady. If we didn't have this much stress, I wouldn't be as worried, but I'm pretty worried right now that we're not going to be able to make it because it's just because of stress. Carve the toy. No. Okay. I mean, if the AI is going to be dumb, we'll let it be dumb. Like, she has other abilities, but she's just going for the horror because I feel like that's, like, the one thing... 
the game knows I can't deal with right now. It's fine. At this point, we're we're not trying to beat these fights. We're just trying to survive. Like, there's one. There's a different one. Of course, she's in position three, though, so I can't actually hit her. <laughs> so... Oh my god, I'm so salty about that goddamn creature fight. Just double double gander is just I that seems abs like excessive. I know they should be more common in region 3, but not double gander in one fight. Like come on. Heist all. I don't think you. I don't think it works that way. You have to put in the amount for heist. All right, we need to do stuff that's going to reduce stress as much as possible. I'm, I'm going to try the exemplar. Like, if we can make it, if we can scrounge a win, that'd be great. You don't have that many points, Reagan. You know it. get a miracle well i like the idea of miracles so do exclamation points reagan you've been here long enough you should know that's a command I'm disappointed in you You sound like my father. Good. Jesus Christ. I... Why? Why does blind not work? Why? Resentment. The slowest and deadliest poison of them all. Like, I had the setup to stop that from happening, and now we're just gonna resent ourselves all the way back up to fucking full meltdown stress again. Because negative relationships proc every fucking time. There's the blind. Jesus Christ. God, I fucking hate this game. Oh, good. Good job, bot. Very fucking helpful. Jesus, does she not have any other abilities besides Gruesome Reflection? Are the other ones on cooldown or something? Fucking hell, and two healing every time. This is just fucking outrageous. Did I take off Adrenaline Rush? I sure did. This wound at least has been tended to. Yeah, gruesome reflection again. you game do not despair ah shut up Wayne fuck you god damn it 
Your ability and your temp. Shut the fuck up. All right. So dumb, man.